we are one of the very fortunate people who actually had electricity in Africa. So I grew up uh, working with the generators and uh, fluorescent lighting. And when I finished high school, there was a big demand for auto electricians because lots of people were beginning to get cars. So I went to uh, the Dar es Salaam, the capital, and I did the vocational training in automobile electricity. And then in 1979, we moved to Canada and I applied for an apprenticeship uh, and I was fortunate enough to be accepted. And But I ended up working, working in an industrial environment. So my apprenticeship was actually as an industrial electrician. For many, many years, I also did uh, construction electrician. University of Alberta, I had a certificate in teaching adults of Toronto. I got a certificate in process management, Lean Six Sigma. Then I graduated from University of Calgary with a certificate in teaching online. And now I'm at Mount Royal doing my digital graphic designing certification program. So it's a constant learning. You need a minimum of grade 11 high school diploma uh, with math, physics, and chemistry. Those are kind of the requirement subjects to to work uh, with electricity. You need physics, chemistry, and uh, and a lot of math. You're able to get along with people. You have to be willing to learn. Uh, you have to be uh, willing to to be open minded, because you encounter a lot of different kind of people. And uh, accepting pluralism and diversity of people in itself uh, is a soft skill. In Canada, it allows you to work uh, in any province within the country. However, the Red Seal also gives you access to working in the United States. So the Canadian Electrical Code is accepted uh, internationally, especially in Ireland and United Kingdom. And so it allows you the ability to work there. I know many, many electricians actually working in uh, uh, the Middle East. I, I remember when I took my master's exam, I did uh, 1,000 questions. So uh, each exam is about 100 questions. So I did minimum of 10 exams because they don't give you enough time. You practically get about a minute and a minute and a half per question. So you have to actually know your code book inside out. And uh, you have to be very fluent in the English language because the code is uh, written in legal terms. So it's a language of the lawyers. So you have to be very good at understanding and interpreting the code. Uh, companies actually prefer that you have a red seal certification because it's a one step higher than than just having an Alberta ticket or a British Columbia ticket. So um, multinational companies prefer that you have an international certification. It is it is a plus on your side. The Red Seal uh, teaches you different uh, code that apply to different parts of the province. If you understand the different uh, uh, requirements for different provinces, then uh, it makes you a better uh, informed journeyman. From the time I landed in Canada, uh, a year later, two years later, I started my apprenticeship. And I've been in this industry for over 40 years now in, in North America. Mostly the introduction of smart home technology and uh, uh, LED lighting and um, uh, solar. It's um, mostly uh, uh, fiber optics communication cable that will power your home in, in the years to come. Construction electrician works uh, with uh, mostly uh, low voltage, like uh, about 150, 300 volts, because the, a normal house is about 240 uh, volts. Whereas industrial electrician uh, requires uh, to work at 600 volts. So the danger level is higher. So you have to be uh, more cognizant of where you're working. The whole industry is based on safety. And nowadays there is a safety 
inspectors, uh, if they catch you doing some kind of violation, then they give you a ticket. And after so many tickets, uh, nobody's going to hire you because you become a liability more than an asset to a company. Technology changes by the hour and by the minute. So if you don't, uh, if you don't keep on upgrading yourself, then you become irrelevant in the industry. Every day, there is something new in the market. There is new products being uh, introduced and, um, and keeping up with the changes, with the technology, uh, is a very, very important aspect of uh, lifelong learning. Practice, practice, and practice makes you perfect. And uh, uh, don't worry if you fail, because there is no such thing as failure in life. It's just learning. So next time, you become better. I was looking for uh, instructors. And uh, from my, what I read, uh, it's an excellent uh, place to be working. Uh, friendly people, uh, good staff. And uh, life is not all about uh, money. It's also being comfortable where you are. Uh, teacher is a, is a very noble profession. From where I come, back in Africa, teachers were considered uh, uh, leaders in the community. So it, it's a leadership role. But it also comes with a responsibility that you have to you have to work very hard to uh, to pass on the uh, the good knowledge to your students. And in order to do that, you yourself have to be uh, upgraded all the time. I'll be sixty five this year, so hopefully I should be able to teach till the age of seventy, and then um, maybe look at retirement but never retirement from learning.